Rembrandt, the prolific painter and etcher of the 17th century, cast a lasting influence on the Dutch Golden Age. During this era, his artistic prowess soared, leaving an indelible mark on the canvas of history. His repertoire encompassed portraits, biblical narratives, and self-portraits, unified by his groundbreaking mastery of light and shadow. Born in 1606 in Leiden, Netherlands, Rembrandt Harmensoon van Rijn embarked on a transformative journey through the realm of art. His early years were shaped by a dual education, encompassing both elementary school and the Latin school in Leiden. Here, he imbibed the essence of biblical teachings and classical wisdom. As he matured, a defining moment arrived when he expressed a fervent desire to undergo formal training as a painter. Between 1620 and around 1624 or 1625, Rembrandt honed his craft under the guidance of two accomplished mentors. The first mentor was Jacob van Swanenberg, a painter who introduced Rembrandt to the fundamentals of art. Van Swanenberg's expertise in capturing fire's luminosity and its interplay with surrounding objects left an indelible imprint on Rembrandt's later oeuvre. The second mentor, Peter Lastman, renowned for his historical paintings, played a pivotal role in honing Rembrandt's ability to create complex compositions, incorporating figures from diverse contexts. By 1625, Rembrandt had returned to Leiden as a mature artist, ready to lay the groundwork for his artistic journey. During the ensuing six years, the influence of Peter Lastman became particularly noticeable. Rembrandt reassembled and deconstructed his mentor's compositions, a technique that was later adopted by his own students. The paintings from this period, although modest in size, were rich in detail and often revolved around religious and allegorical themes. Concurrently, Rembrandt ventured into etching, a medium that would soon contribute to his international acclaim. In a departure from his contemporaries, he endowed his etchings with a painterly quality by deftly manipulating light and darkness. A pivotal shift in Rembrandt's style occurred with his innovative use of light. His novel approach obscured significant portions of his paintings, allowing light to progressively wane into the canvas, resulting in areas of brightness contrasting with shadowy depths. Works such as Judas Repentant and Returning the Pieces of Silver offered evidence of his growing fascination with the interplay of light. Peter and Paul Disputing exemplified this technique, drawing the viewer's gaze towards illuminated elements amidst darker surroundings before delving into the intricacies within. Starting in 1628, Rembrandt embraced the role of an instructor, attracting a multitude of young aspirants eager to glean insights from his fame. While the exact tally of his students remains uncertain, the impact he had on emerging talents was undoubtedly profound. In 1631, Rembrandt commenced a collaboration with entrepreneur Hendrik Eilenberg in Amsterdam, marking his transition from Leiden. This marked the period during which he painted grand biblical and mythological scenes, characterized by stark contrasts of light and shadow. This technique found expression in masterpieces like The Blinding of Samson and Danai. Despite his inclination towards biblical themes, Rembrandt's personal religious affiliations remain shrouded in mystery. Amsterdam bore witness to an array of commissioned portraits by Rembrandt, often executed with the assistance of collaborators from Eilenberg's workshop. His portraits stood apart from prevailing trends, radiating vitality even as they occasionally featured subtle discrepancies in likeness. A notable instance of this was when diplomat Constantine Huygens critiqued Rembrandt's portrayal of a friend for its divergence from accurate representation. Rembrandt's self-portraits, too, exhibited noticeable physiognomic variations from one depiction to the next. Following the unveiling of The Night Watch, a significant decline in Rembrandt's artistic output spanned around a decade, marked by a conspicuous absence of painted portraits. This period spawned the Rembrandt myth, attributing his supposed wane to personal losses and artistic rejection. However, modern research debunks these claims. Rembrandt's crisis might well have been more artistic in nature, a consequence of pushing his techniques to their practical limits. The variations witnessed in paintings from 1642 to 1652 marked the inception of his late style, signifying a relentless pursuit of fresh horizons.